Dear Virgo, your tarot card for this week, June 7th to June 13th, is Three of Swords. The Three of Swords shows the presence of pain and suffering either through an emotional loss, the end of an important relationship, or heartbreak through separation. Emotional disturbances and mental anguish come along with this card. Three of Swords is a strict teacher for the course of knowledge and wisdom. This card represents a broken heart and feelings hurt. At this stage, you should express what is deposited in your heart before it turns into hatred. If you could not establish such a connection, tell your secrets to your intimate friends. Communicating with people is the best cure for a broken heart. Be aware that honest acceptance of the reality of life and understanding these steps are critical. It is wise to bravely face your negative emotions and pain. Keep in mind that this sorrow will be transient. Love and private life. In the context of love this card does not have to be the death knell of a relationship, but it does almost always point to relationship difficulty and pain. In order for the relationship to survive, both parties must be willing to work on and talk about the relationship. You may find that someone you thought cared about you is not as loving as you had supposed. Do not take this too personally or dwell too long on the pain, if that is the case. You are being guided to the relationship that is right for you. You cannot force something to be right or someone to care if they do not. The right person will care, of their own accord. Work and social life. Your feelings or ego may be quite bruised by something that happens with relation to work. Try to keep this in perspective. Your whole life is not, or should not be, what you do professionally. You may need some assistance to find a better approach to work. Don't hesitate to ask. If you're looking for work, this too may show a need to look in a different way or in a different field than the one you've been pursuing. Hang in there. Finances. Unfortunately when it comes to money this card can mean disappointing news. You will not help yourself by freaking out. Look your situation unflinchingly in the eye, then figure out what you are going to do about it, one step at a time. If the situation is overwhelming as a whole, don't try to look at the big picture. Start with a manageable chunk, even if that is as small as what your next meal will be. Do not let your pride prevent you from asking for financial assistance if you need it. By allowing others to give to you, you are giving them a blessing, as well. Health. The news about your health may not be as good as you had hoped, for emotions. Depression or anxiety may be taking a toll on your physical being. Keeping a positive attitude is of the utmost importance now, no matter what your situation or prognosis might be. Remember that doctors are not gods. Treat yourself with loving kindness. Read about miraculous healings. If you need help to stay positive, ask for it. Surround yourself with healthy, positive influences to the best of your ability. Spirituality. This is not a time to try to hold on to things, ideas, situations, or people which may have run their course in your life. You must make room in your life for new things to come to you. Time alone will be helpful. Have you done all the healing that you need to do? The answers you seek are within you, although you may need help to bring them to the surface. Talk with someone you trust, 